The overnight rate is a tool used by the Bank of Canada to influence the economy. What they do with the overnight rate is based off the state of our current economy. Before we get in this video, if you find any value, please like, subscribe, share this video with a family or a friend, do all that YouTube stuff because it helps my channel grow and reach more Canadians who are looking to learn about the mortgage and real estate industry. So over the past couple of months, the Bank of Canada has been increasing the overnight rate rapidly. From all time lows in January of this year at 0.25% to now up to 3.75%. The overnight rate is the rate at which banks exchange funds on the overnight market. So when the overnight rate increases, banks have to adjust the rate at which they lend money out, which is also known as the prime rate. So why does the Bank of Canada make changes to the overnight rate? Well, the Bank of Canada's monetary policy is to keep inflation low and the economy stable. So it's their job to, if the economy is growing too quickly or inflation is running rapid, slow down the economy, or if the economy is struggling, kickstart it into growth. So now you may be wondering, why do rate increases or decreases heat up or cool down the economy. Well, when the economy is growing too quickly, increasing rates will make it harder to apply for credit and Canadians' budgets will become tighter because more of their monthly cash flow is going towards their mortgage payment. That's if they're in a variable rate mortgage. This will all lead to consumers spending less money, decreasing the demand in our economy and leveling out inflation. When the economy is struggling, the Bank of Canada will decrease rates to try and pretty much do the opposite of what they had in mind when they increase rates. Applying for credit becomes easier. People have more monthly cash flow because not as much as their money is going towards their mortgage payment. And consumer spending increases, therefore kickstarting our economy into growth. With the Bank of Canada increasing rates so rapidly at a short period of time, many people are worried that our economy is going to dip into a recession. And if we do go through some sort of recession, the Bank of Canada will likely decrease rates to help Canadians out. An example of the last time this happened was during 2008 in the financial crisis. After the housing market crashed, interest rates dropped to help Americans going through hard times. And those interest rates stayed low for quite a while. Another example of this would be after 9-11, when the economy was impacted by the horrific attack. The insurance, tourism, and airline industry took a massive hit. There was a ton of uncertainty in the market, and the central banks decreased rates to help out the economy. So I hope this video helped give you a better understanding of how central banks can influence an economy. If it did, please like, subscribe, share this video with a family member or friend because it'll help my channel grow and reach more Canadians looking to learn about the mortgage and real estate industry. Don't forget, I have those three free guides to help homeowners or future homeowners navigate the real estate industry. The first is the first time homebuyers guide with a first time homebuyers checklist included. The second is a refinancing guide if you're thinking of refinancing your home to access some equity or change your mortgage landscape to better match your lifestyle, you definitely go check that guide out. And the third is you found your dream home, now you need to obtain financing for it. Definitely go check those out, links in the description below. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer all of them. I also have my calendar link below, so if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, um, click the link, go fill out a time slot, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have.